Hello, it's me again, Kirby Agudelo. I, I'll be doing the new series of guitar tips. The very first thing I would like to teach is the, the power chords. Power chords is a bit basic, but you should already know some of the basic chords and how they're formed. Some knowledge of the uh, major scale is uh, kind of an advantage, but if you're not into that, it's okay. Okay, so power chord summary. A power chord, usually you hear that in rock music, goes something like this. You know, high gain guitars with all those distorted sounds, kind of a loud and, uh, you know, that's where they got the term power chords because of the, you know, of course, the physical power that you have to pump up the amps to make the, the, the grungy sounds. And of course, you know, they sound heavier than the normal chords. You tone down that again. See, you you wouldn't get much, but if you put some, you know, high gain, it, it has this, you know, this power. <laughs> That's where they get the word power chords. Now, um, uh, the chord isn't really only for rock music. You can also use it for clean. For example, you have you have the E power chord. They call it the E5, the E5, or they do an A power chord. They call it the A5 because you're only using the root, the A, for example, this one, the A, and then the fifth uh, interval, one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth of the A uh, scale, major scale. So the first and the fifth. So you have the the, the A5. If you're going to do it in the E, this is the, e, the open E string, and then the fifth is just the the B. It's be the B note. So if you're going to do a uh, E power chord, just hit the two notes, open E and then the B. See, I'm just drumming two notes. Some beginners will really try to make an effort not to hit the the lower strings but the, the trick is don't, just don't think about it <laughs> just just think about hitting the strings on top if we're going to strum that if you look at my strumming it's like this I'm not strumming it all the way I'm just I'm just strumming it like this hitting two or three notes at a time that's the basic E power chord if you're going to do the A power chord your index finger on the fifth fret and uh, this, uh, your ring finger on the seventh fret of the, uh, the A string where again we hit two notes when I do power chords I don't do it with two strings I just I, I keep the, the the pinky on the on the first tone again on the next octave A because whenever I play usually I play uh, punk rock guitars uh, I just like to have a grip on the guitar so I just hold hold the guitar tight like, like this so when I strum I won't uh, lose the chord it's just me but maybe you can try what's more comfortable for you. Furthermore, it's easier to do power chords. Usually when you're doing traditional chords like the G to the A to the F sharp minor or to the C, it's more difficult if you try to play all the required notes. But if you're doing power chords, you'll just be hitting uh, two notes at a time. So the G, the A, the F sharp, the C, D, so playing power chords is easier. That's one of the good things about power chords. If you you can play chords faster.